you're saying this, you're probably wondering how to rig and animate a car in Blender. Well, here is everything you need to know about it. First, I did a car on Sketchfab, shout out to the artists, and drag and drop the file in Blender to import it. Rotate it on the Z axis by 90 degrees so it faces the minus Y direction. It's important for the rigging part. Obliterate the cube. The model is made up of different parts that we need to join together, but the wheels will stay separated. Let's now select all by pressing A and unselect the rest by holding Ctrl. Press Alt plus P to unprint all these empties that came with it. We don't need it anymore. Select one of them, go to Object, click on Select Group and choose type. Now delete them. Then select all the wheels and put them in their own collection so we can hide them. Select all the other parts and press Ctrl plus J to join them. If the scale is not uniform as with this model, we need to apply the scale or all the transforms by pressing Ctrl plus A. Now we need to name properly the parts. For the body, you can name it car dash body and follow wheels depending on the side where it is. We're going to name it with this radical car dash wheel that FT for the front, BK for the back, L for the left side, R for the Republic, R for the right side. Now we need this add-on called the Riga car, updated by Jean-Yan in 2024. You can find the link in the description. Merci Jean. To install it, open preferences, go to add-ons and click install from disk. Then search for Riga car and enable it. Apply the scale of the wheels as well if they are not uniform, but don't apply the location as it will move the pivot point to the world's origin, which we don't want. So leave the origin at the center of the wheel. Now select all the parts of the car and press Shift plus A. Go to armature. And you should see car deformation rig. Click on it. It adds an amateur to the car. Then click on rear car down here and click generate. And you're done. Enabling wheels on Y axis drives the wheels when moving the root one. And you have all the controls you needed to animate the car now. To animate the car with keyframes, which is not the method I mostly use, just create a keyframe somewhere in the 3D space, move the car, and create another keyframe. A simple way is to use curves. Add a curve and check the direction of the arrows by going into edit mode and enabling normal. Then scale it and place the curve where you want the car to move to. Select the car's armature, switch to pose mode, select the root bone, and go to bone constraints tab. Add a follow pass constraint, select the curve as target, set the forward axis according to the direction of the car, which is minus y here. Enable follow curve, and use the offset value to animate the car. You can also use a driver by typing this expression in the offset field, which is what I did for this animation.